Hey guys, Chad here from CNR Reviews. We got Ryan behind the camera, and we're going to be doing a first impressions video today on the Springfield XDS 9mm. As you guys can see, this is a huge case that it comes with. Um, but Springfield packs a lot of stuff into this case that I wish other manufacturers did. The only other one that I know of that does something similar is SIG. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about what comes with the with this pistol. Like I said, this is the 9mm XDS. This is the Bitone version. We're going to show you the pistol a little bit more in just a second. Two 7 round magazines, and the case already has a slot cut out for an extended mag, which I really like. Uh, it comes with, of course, your lock and some scrubs and stuff. Replacement pieces for your fiber optic front sight. Awesome. Thanks for thinking which about that. Which that does come in handy, guys. And they give you full detailed uh, instructions on how to replace it if for some reason yours gets damaged or it comes out. They give you a mag holster, two mags, and it's actually not bad quality stuff. It's, it, it is plastic, yes, but it's not bad. And they give you actually a really nice functional paddle holster, which I really like. The pistol fits in really nice. Um, I've actually already started wearing it, and uh, I really like this holster, guys. It actually seats really nicely to your body, and uh, I know Ryan actually liked his as well with the XDS-45. Now, the only thing that I found with that paddle holster, guys, is sometimes uh, if you're not wearing a long enough shirt, it will show the gun, um, and also it does not protect the front fiber optic sight. Yeah, the sight actually kind of sits down. We'll show you that. Alright, So, the pistol slides in and as you guys can see the fiber optic sight actually sits uh, lower so there's no protection here. So you want to make sure you're careful with that. But it actually comes out really nice and I am very impressed with the quality of it. Uh, other thing that it comes with, it does come with a replaceable back strap and they give you full instructions on how to do that in the manual. So there you go. Actually, I like the one that comes with the pistol. So I'm going to pull one mag and the pistol out. And we're going to go ahead and shut this, move this to the side. Now, this pistol, guys, is in high demand. This is actually the very first one that I've ever seen. Um, and i got to say thank you to Greg at Sportco and Fife. Uh, Greg happened to be looking out for one of these for us. Happen to have a few come in, and uh, thanks, Greg, for letting me know. Uh, that's awesome customer service, and we really appreciate it. Um, guys, this thing is sweet. Now, as you know, we've been focusing so much on 9mm subcompacts in the last two years, and this is going to be the final subcompact 9mm that I'm going to be purchasing. Um, we are going to actually be doing a series on what is the best one here soon. And we're going to be going over um, just some different versions of the most popular pistols in the category. And then basically picking a winner on which one um, I like the best. That doesn't mean that you're going to like it, but <laughs> there you go. Um, so I was very excited to see that this is the Bitone version. Ryan's was the black on black. And this is a polymer pistol. And uh, the 45 performed perfectly. Actually, I don't think we ever had a malfunction. It fired everything. It actually shot extremely well for being so stinking light. And uh, it's, it's an awesome 45. So I have really high hopes for this 9mm. Now you guys got to see what comes with the box. I'll quickly just show you some features on the firearm. It does have the grip safety back here, which has to be depressed for you to pull the trigger. The trigger charge is very similar to a Glock. So as you can see, it's not charged right now. I can actually put my finger in the trigger guard. And you'll see the trigger move forward as I charge the weapon. And there you go. Now, if I just try to pull that trigger without pushing that grip safety, nothing happens. You have to depress the grip safety, and then it engages. Now, to be honest with you, I am not a big fan of this trigger. Um, the trigger feels like a staple gun. It actually feels just like a Glock trigger. And uh, to me, I am just not impressed. I wish it was actually even a pound or two lighter, and I'd be okay with that. Now, guys, there are aftermarket spring uh, kits that you can buy. I believe one, I believe it's uh, Powder River um, actually has a spring kit for the XD series, and it works on the XDS triggers as well, of where you can actually lighten that trigger up and make it uh, make it a lot better. So we may give that a shot with this gun. Uh, we're not sure yet. So other features, like you already know, it has a fiber optic front sight. Really nice. Uh, three dot picture guys so you can see that the rear sights are nice and bright I really like them uh, you actually get a really good picture especially during the daytime this thing just glows awesome 
Um, and even, the front sight fits into the rear sight really, really well. We it's don't, awesome. You don't have a whole bunch of gap on the side. So very impressed with that. Uh, the polymer quality is phenomenal. Uh, it, everything is nice and smooth. There's no huge seams. Um, you have the ability to run a laser, a tack light, or something like that in the front here. Uh, it does have an ambidextrous mag release, and I'm not too impressed though with that. And we found that actually on the 45 one too, is that it is kind of tough to release the mag. Now I'm not going to put too much complaint with it, only because um, I have had other pistols in the compact category as I've been carrying them, I have accidentally bumped up against something and my mag has dropped out. So with it being tougher, okay, that's fine. But when you get this thing fully loaded, sometimes it gets really tough. So don't you got to really push on it. And if yours is tight, so is mine. Other than that, the marks, guys, on the slide and the finishing marks are absolutely phenomenal. Um, just, just a beautiful firearm. It does have a loaded chamber indicator up here on top, which does pop out. I'll actually show you. It sticks up when there is a round in the chamber. It's not overly huge though guys, like the uh, like the LC9 has this huge gigantic uh, loaded chamber indicator. This one does not stick up super huge. Let's actually show you that again um, because I just noticed that too. It does have a metal guide rod and it's a, uh, it's a very nice one. Very simple takedown guys with the slide locked all the way to the rear. You have a takedown lever here. Go ahead and rotate that. Yeah. Oh. You rotate that ah, up. There you go. And then you would release the slide. You press the trigger and the gun comes apart. So it's not too bad. It's pretty basic. This one's actually already been cleaned, lubed up, and they tell you inside of the instructions. Now guys, actually one of the uh one of the things that I'm gonna be interested to see, because this is a first impressions video and not a review. I'm going to be interested to see on this guide rod uh, in spring assembly here if this back part here gets all beat up like it did on the 45. I actually have heard that when this gets all beat up um, it can actually cause malfunctions on this weapon. We did not experience that with the 45 but I'll be interested to see with all the rounds we're going to be putting through this if, uh, if that does have a longer life. So guys, make sure that you read through the manual because the manual gives detailed instructions on where to apply lubricant on this firearm and where not to. So to put it back together, you would slide it back on, lock the slide back, flip the lever down, drop the slide, firearm's ready to go. We'll go ahead and function test it. There you go. Very simplistic, very easy. It feels solid, guys. There's very there's no wiggle at all actually between slide and frame. It just is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I hope this thing performs well and I'm pretty sure it's going to if, if it was anything like the 45. So that is the Springfield XDS first impressions. If you have any questions let us know. We are going to be doing some videos um, as far as comparing but we're not going to be doing it to the same extent that we usually do. I'm basically going to just be comparing this to the two other most popular compact, um, I'm sorry, subcompact nine millimeters out there which is basically the Glock 26 and the MMP Shield because we've already done comparisons with the XDS 45 and this firearm is the same width, the same length, the same height everything is the same. Um, the weight may be a little bit different um, but it's not going to make a huge difference so if you want to see more comprehensive videos on that or as far as comparisons go check out our channel. Other than that stay tuned for more vids. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Chad and Ryan from CNR Reviews. Check that out.